Good evening, runners, and welcome back to another video from me, That Running Girl. In today's video, I thought I would just make a super lighthearted, fun video on the races that I've done recently, the race medals that I have received on the finish line, and just talk about where I'm at with my racing, really, because I feel like I haven't done that for a while on this channel. My racing is something that I don't actually talk that much about anymore. It's just something that I kind of do. Um, it's quite difficult for me as someone in their late 30s who ran all their best times in my mid 20s. Since then, I feel like life has just got in the way, whether that's, you know, travel or, um, you know, being jet lagged and then kind of that not aligning very well in my races or whether it's literally just running my business. I've had my own business for over 12 years and sometimes it gets really chaotic. Um, which doesn't necessarily, it's not really a physical interruption in terms of I don't work in an office and I don't have to travel for work, but in terms of just feeling really burnt out and, you know, working really hard and burning the candle at both ends, it definitely sometimes feels like it takes a toll on, you know, when I get to the end of the work day and I think, actually, do I want to run 10k or eight miles or do I just want to run, you know, 5k and take it steady? So, yeah, it is difficult and, um, it's something that I am trying really hard to get back. I'm still running races. I still do 10K, half marathon, marathon. I did my last marathon um, last October, and that was my 30th marathon, which I ran as a ladybird. I might make another whole video on that um, marathon, actually, because it was quite an interesting one. And I also want to talk about um, how this marathon which is my local um, Oxfordshire Marathon, do actually now allow you to wear bone conduction headphones, which is something that I have been um, wanting for, you know, pretty much 20 years and, and been kind of asking them about. And so they finally um, become an inclusive marathon and allowed bone conduction headphones. So that's great. But anyway, on to this video. Um, so I have done five races this year. I did the Winslow 10K, Corby Half Marathon, Stratford-upon-Avon half, half Marathon, Banbury 15 Mile and Buckingham Half Marathon, which was this Sunday just gone. And it's been quite difficult for me, if I'm honest, because I had an Achilles injury for the best part of two years, which only went away last October. So I've only been sort of running, you know, not injured since last October. Um, but I've also had a sort of strange injury slash niggle in the back of both legs. My um, hamstrings have been insanely tight and they've been that way since I um, had COVID a number of years ago. Um, I'm still trying to figure out why they are like that. It's um, my glutes aren't firing and so that transfers all the pressure and intensity to the back of my hamstrings when I run. Um, I've seen a number of physios about this and no one can really figure out <laughs> what's um, going on so much, but the physio I'm seeing on Saturday, who was like, I had a sports massage from her after Stratford Marathon and I really trust in her because she's pretty much the only physio who has diagnosed what's going on and I really trust her. So I'm looking forward to going to some dry needling and soft tissue massage about that on Saturday. And so, yeah, it is difficult because when you're injured uh, or you've got a niggle and you're just, you're running and, you know, you can run and you can do the race and you can cross the finish line. But if you're not running to your full capability, it's really difficult and really frustrating because, you know, people see you running times and think that that's your capability. And it's very much not my capability. I'm running times that are like 150, 155 these days for a half marathon. And I'm so much more capable than that. I'm so much fitter than that. And I know I still have that in me to run, you know, 130, 135, my PB being 128 at a half marathon and marathon PB being 317. And I just can't wait till I have the looseness in the back of my legs to be able to do that again. But fear of missing out really holds me back from doing, not doing races. So I have basically just been doing races, just turning up and running them you know, just to run them for the enjoyment because of the pure enjoyment and euphoria that I feel from running. Um, but I'm not doing them to any way near my capability, which is really frustrating. But with that in mind, um, wish me luck for Saturday's physio. Hopefully that will go well and get me 
back on track to um, hopefully running some good times again. So yeah, these are the medals that I have got from Finnish Lens lately. This one is the Abingdon Marathon. Uh, Abingdon Marathon, so it's the 40th uh, time that that event has been on. Finisher medal. This one says 2022, but I did do this in 2023, but for some reason I picked up the 2022 one. But this is a super nice medal. Um, as you can see, it's wooden, so super eco-friendly and just um, really classic design on that one with the track because it starts and finishes on the Abingdon Marathon track in Oxfordshire. And that's one that I have done for um, pretty much 20 years. The next one I'm going to show you is the Compton Verney Half Marathon. So this is a super, super pretty half marathon in um, Warwickshire countryside on countryside lanes. I'm not sure why they've chosen a scorpion for this one, but I thought it was quite a um, quite an interesting choice, quite a um, qu yeah, quite an epic choice for this this um, half marathon medal. And it's a big, nice, chunky medal as well, which I quite like. I quite like it when they give you a big chunky medal at the end of a marathon. But yeah, this marathon um, starts and finishes in the beautiful grounds of Compton Verney, which is like a big sort of, I don't think it's National Trust, but it's almost like a sort of stately home and they have an art gallery and it's just a really beautiful venue. They once had um, the Antiques Roadshow there, which I went to, and it's just a lovely, lovely venue to have it start and finish at. This one here is um, just another small classic um, Pedna 10 medal. So this was a 10 mile uh, race which was two laps in the Chesham Hills in Buckinghamshire that I did on New Year's Eve. Um, so this is on New Year's Eve in the daytime and I've done this one for a number of years again. I find it a really really difficult course but it's just a really nice way to end the year and you know start the, the year fresh with um, you know a, a running race. This one is really special actually. It's the um, Corby Half Marathon uh, and 10K, which was in February this year. And this is, one's really special to me because one of my really good friends, Sarah Davis, um, hi Sarah, if you're watching, um, she uh, put this run on, this race on, and she is a super talented and super dedicated um, marathon runner, half marathon, 10K, 5K runner. She is just absolutely, passionate and committed to her running um, and she's a good friend of mine so like I said it was super super nice to go and support this which was the debut uh, race of this event again a really really red race um, but a really good training one and then this one was the Cheltenham running half marathon festival so as you can see it has like the horse and jockey on here and this was around the Cheltenham um, race course so it's where the horse racing is um, so it was basically two lap I think it was two or three laps I can't even remember because it was so insanely hot that day I think it was possibly the hottest run in the UK that I've ever done um, and yeah there was just no shade at all and it was just insane and there wasn't horse jumps to jump, but there were sort of um, pieces of grass and pieces of bits in the grass that you had to kind of navigate around, which was really not ideal because I didn't think it was, you know, an off-road race. It wasn't so much off-road, but because it was on the um, Cheltenham running, you know, circuit where the horses go, it was um, not on road. So again, a really difficult one. And then we're coming up to the most recent race that I ran last Sunday, ran last Sunday, and that is the Buckingham Half Marathon. And again, this is probably one of the prettiest races, half marathon races that I've ever done. I hadn't ever done it before, and it's literally only nine miles from our house now um, because we moved a few months ago. Um, so that was a really, really nice race to run. Um, again, 722 feet elevation, so quite a hilly route, but um, really rewarding. Um, yeah, but difficult because of the intense stiffness at the back of my hamstrings. So those are the races I've run recently. That is where I'm at recently with my running, trying to get my hamstrings to behave themselves so that I have looser legs so that I can actually translate some of my fitness to speed again. So yeah, I hope you found that encouraging and inspiring and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.